Hey guys, I'm finally getting a chance to do the tutorial that was requested by Esme. Uh, Esme, this is the mink tutorial that you were looking for, and hopefully this helps. I know there's plenty of tutorials out there for the mink, um, but she asked me to do one, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. And um, hopefully show you something that you didn't already know. If you do already know all this, you can skip this video and go watch something else. It won't hurt my feelings. So this is my uh, Heidi Swap uh, mink. This is the 12 inch um, machine. I do have the six inch mink as well um, for smaller projects. And I actually prefer the 12 inch one. I don't know why, but I just think the quality on this one is better for some reason. And so I tend to probably use this one more. <laughs> I bought the smaller one because at the time I had a smaller desk and I thought I'd use it more there, but now it doesn't really matter. So um, just a few things. I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on so it can warm up while I'm showing you some things as me. And, um, you know, again, as I said, if you already know this stuff, then you guys don't have to worry about it. But I thought I'd start from the beginning. So there is a switch on the back right hand corner of your machine if you have this 12 inch minch, minch, mink. Um, you flip it to the side, to you press it in and you'll notice that nothing lights up when that happens. So what you have to do is you need to look at these numbers here and every single mink package that you buy pre-printed items like this one for example is uh, Heidi Swap's paper line that she put out. It's a six by six paper pack. Um, it has colors in it and it has the black ink already on the paper. So you can use this paper and run it through your mink and you'll see this number here. So you want to push the button to light up the correct number to get to that heat setting. I'm actually going to go to five because I'm going to show you something that I do have. Um, and so I'm going to set it to five for now. And it may not take that long to get to five because I had it on before I started the video. And so you can see that red light blinking. You can see it turn green. That means it's gotten to temperature and it will take your machine longer if you had it off for, you know, for any period of time. I had it on just before I started the video, so it was already hot. So that's why it heated up so quickly. So, and the reason why I'm going to set it to five for now is because... I want to show you some something I was working with but let me first show you so I've showed you some of the paper and I think Esme I sent you some other things this is some of the numbers I picked up these were on clearance at Hobby Lobby for Christmas you can use whatever color foil you want but if you look at the designs the numbers have their own little pattern in them um, up to 25 this again is number three um, some of the other things they have are little bags. Um, this is a different paper stack that she had out. Um, again, it's a number three. Most of them are number three if you're working with um, the chipboard or the paper. And here's the paper. It isn't that thick. And that's the reason why the heat setting is where it is. Plus, um, it's usually a foil um, that you're working with. I'm actually going to work with some glitter paper this um, for a little bit, so that's why I set it to five. So this is one of the um, what do you call these transfer folders? It is made for the six by six machine. Uh, they also have the twelve by twelve size, and that's what this is right here. I bought these some time ago when the mink first came out. You can see this package has a um, 12 and a quarter by 14 inch and a six and a quarter by 12 inch transfer folder inside of it. Where did I get this from? I got this from an order that I placed online with um, HSN because I ordered the um, Anna Griffin products that they had um, that coordinate with the mink. And um, she has a six by six, oh, she has a six inch mink as well as Heidi Swaps. They're the same machine, they're just branded differently for each individual. So this happens to be the Christmas um, pre printed, laser printed um, sheets. Okay, so I won't open that package because there's a lot of crinkling there, but um, 
Okay, so that takes care of some of the things that you can get. Obviously, um, they have the foil in this longer size, which is 10 feet, I think. 12 and a quarter by 120 inches. And this is the red. I haven't even opened it. I think I got this on clearance, I'm not sure. And then they have um, these six by six sheets. And they also have um, the rolls for the six by six, for the six inch mink. Um, I don't have any of those because I just prefer to buy this and cut it down. Here's a tip guys. Don't try and use these Tim Holtz scissors with the foil. This won't cut it. This will not cut those sheets because the serrated edge doesn't cut it. You got to use regular, you know, scissors. And these are my Fisker scissors that I always use. So that's just a tip. Don't try and use those um, serrated edge scissors from Tim Holtz because it won't cut the it won't cut that foil. Um, okay. So one of the things that you can do um, with the mink is you can die cut sheets. So. Um, if you have a laser printer, let me repeat, if you have a laser printer, you can print sheets of, this is just regular, actually I think this is cardstock, I don't want to use that. You can get a piece of um, cardstock, and I created this a long time ago. I created a calendar for Laura last year, and I printed out this calendar um, from my laser printer, that's why it says 2015, and you can see it's all black. And I used pink foil, and you can see here, if you look through it, you could see that I foiled it all pink. So wherever there was black, it came out a pink foil. So that's how I did the calendar for her. Um, and I just ran it through the mink. Okay, I'm not gonna show you that, but you need to have a laser printer, not an inkjet, um, in order for you to use that with the foiling technique, to use it with the mink. I have an inkjet printer for other reasons, but I have the laser printer for this. And they had on Amazon recently, somebody said they purchased a laser printer for $80. That's pretty cheap. Um, and that'll do the trick for you. Or you can go to the local office supply store and tell the, and ask them if they can print out um, sheets of the toner paper, just a full black, you know, print out, you know, save your copy or file with like a big square on it of black and have them print that out for you. Then you can die cut them. And what you're gonna end up with is a sheet like this that's not die cut. I can't find the sheet that I had. Oh, here it is. Something like this in eight and a half by 11. Now these are sold at the um, Hobby Lobby or online. And for instance, I get them in my HSM package. You can see that black sheet in there. That's where I got these from. So I, I don't use these typically. Um, because I like my own paper, but um, you can buy these sheets too if you want to buy them for the mink. But to me, it's cheaper if you just, um, you know, get them yourself, get, do it yourself. That's just my opinion. Um, so what I did was I die cut the two ballerinas um, from a die that I have. And I know you've got dies, Esme, um, because you asked me about one, so... Um, here is the ballerinas that I cut out. These are Spellbinders dies. Okay. And so I cut both shapes. I've already run one because I wanted to see how it would work with the um, glitter. I'd never tried the glitter foil before. Glitter foil. It's not foil. It's glitter. And so um, I got these glitter sheets from HSN through the Anna Griffin um, auto ships that I was getting. So that's the reason why I originally purchased in, in addition to the pens that you get. They have a pen with the ink in it. I'll demo this too. So the glitter packs you can only get on HSN right now. I don't think they have them in stores anywhere. I've never seen them. So, um, and this is um, with Anna Griffin's line. So you can see here, this is why I've set it to five um, glitter sheets. And it actually says these aren't for um, very detailed graphics. So um, I tried it when I first got it. This is one of the um, Anna Griffin tags you can see here. Um, it was all black where it says um, the birthday wishes is, was in white and I glittered it with the um, ink. Okay, so um, watch the setting. I actually had to run it through twice to get 
the ballerina die cut glittered up. So here it is. This is the die cut that I cut out from the toner sheet. She's done in a um, gold glitter. It actually looks kind of champagne color. I don't know. She's pretty. I could use her on a project, right? And I thought I'd go ahead and show you um, the larger one on camera. So here it is. And with the with the toner sheets and the glitter, this is only specific to the glitter. You have to put it face down. And I think I had it this way to fit on here. So I'm going to run this through the mink. You put it in the carrier sheet. And what I do is I usually put it up against the edge there and run it through like this so that it's closer to the, you know, instead of having it on this side, you want it close to that edge that's folded. And then you just put it in the machine and let the rollers catch it and it will go through. So um, that is uh, the die cut piece. Now these are ones that I printed out images of. I went to the graphics fairies, found some images that I got that I liked and I printed them out through my laser printer. Very pretty, right? Then all you have to do is put your foil on top. If you're going to use foil, you want, obviously you want a piece long enough to cover both. Um, or you could use a scrap piece too, cause that works. And then you want to put it inside of your transfer, um, transfer sheet and run it through. So we're not going to do this image today cause it's really big and I don't want to waste the foil, um, here. Now, here is the glitter, um, Thing. It hasn't, um, I haven't taken it out. This is the back side that you're seeing. I'm going to run it again because I know that it probably will take another um, pass through. And, and you can actually check it. If you peel it, if you peel it open, and I'll show it to you, if you peel it open, you'll see that it's not all covered well enough. It doesn't have the coverage. So I'm going to um, actually foil this piece of paper. Um, so this one's actually pink with the black on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all that black and make it gold. So it'll be pink and gold instead of, and I don't know if that's going to look good, but you know, that's what I'm going to do because it's my choice. And then you can use whatever you want to use this paper for. You can punch it out or, you know, I'm trying to do this and it's curling up. Okay. So I'm going to smooth it out like that and then this actually because it is foil and I forgot to mention with the foil you don't put it face down you put it face up you see how that backside is this is gray and this is actually the foil color um, unlike the glitter you put it face up you put the foil face up on top of the actual page that has the toner on it so I'm gonna grab this I'm not gonna take that out yet because I'm gonna let that cool off and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run that through I could have set it to three, which is the actual setting, but, um, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this up a little bit to see how well the, t the, um, glitter came across. So you can see here, it looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and take it out and all you got to do is just peel it up and look, see how there are some spots that are still black. You can still run that through. You can go through and just reorient her and that's what I'm going to actually do to see if I can get some more um, of the glitter onto her. I'm going to reorient her across this paper and do it like that and run it through again. So let me go ahead and do that. And so now you can actually see that this is the foiled one and you can kind of see the pattern in it. So if I pull this up and what you try to try and do is cover all of that toner edge to edge, because if you run it through and the toner is showing, you will get toner on your, um, on your, uh, transfer paper and you don't really want to do that. So here we go. Here's the reveal. This is pink and gold and you can kind of see the pattern here. Okay. So here is a piece of the Anna, uh, not Anna Griffin, but a Heidi swap paper that she was selling that's all foiled up and you can kind of see that reflection it's pink and gold leopard 
How crazy is that, right? So pretty. Okay, so save this on your uh, transfer paper, and you don't really want to do that. So here we go. Here's the reveal. This is pink and gold, and you can kind of see the pattern here. Okay, so here is a piece of the Anna, uh, not Anna Griffin, but a Heidi Swap paper that she was selling. That's all foiled up, and you can kind of see that reflection. It's pink and gold leopard. How crazy is that, right? So pretty. Okay, so save this. You see this? Save this because if you print out your own toner sheet, right? If you print it out and you have this whole thing as toner and you want to get that pattern, you can run this through just like this. And what will happen is anywhere that's black with these gold, this gold pattern right here, it's going to fill in and it will make it all gold. And I'm going to actually show you that too after I take the, the ballerina out. So she came through. It's still a little bit warm, so I'm going to let that cool off for a second. And I'm going to show you if I can find that piece of paper I had. I was going to show you. Hmm. That's what happens when you do demos, right? You can't find every... Okay, here we go. So here's that piece of toner sheet that um, is covered with toner here. Now this is going to look familiar to you, Esme, because my box lid that I did for you, I printed myself from my laser printer and um, onto tilde paper. Uh, it might be better if I showed it to you in white. Um, I printed myself onto um, tilde paper, like these labels that you see right here. And um, it was, you know, obviously it came out black. And then I ran it through the mink with the pink foil. And this is the, the um, scrap sheet of paper that I got. This is what it looked like. Okay, so that should look familiar to you because this is the one, this is the pattern that I um, had when I, uh, or the scrap piece that I had as a result of making your box. So, I'm going to use the scrap and show you what it looks like when you transfer this paper like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it so that it's shorter than the actual um, foil. So all I've done is cut it down and then I'm going to put it in the folder. Let's see if I can get it in there. And this is going to be a long video, guys. Sorry. Well, not sorry. You can always stop and go go watch something else. Okay, I want to make that shorter, too. I don't want it hanging out like that. Because I don't like my toner to get on my, my folder. I've done that before, and it has transferred back onto my project that I'm working on, and I don't like that. So, I don't want that to happen. And let's see if I can get the foil across all this. Okay. I think I've got the full pattern in here now. The best way to do this is to kind of get it up to this edge here and then smooth it out as you are trying to um, get the foil aligned up properly. Okay? So you can always turn your machine down when you're doing this, and that's what I'm going to do. Instead of going on five, I'm going to go down to three. You just keep pressing the buttons till you get to the number you want. So you see how that's red? It's going to um, blink green when it gets to temperature. So I'm just going to stop here for now, and then I'll be back. Hey, guys. So I'm back. I just thought I would take a little break here because um, uploading these videos is going to be a little difficult. So here is the, um, the toner sheet with the um, pink foil pattern that I had left over from your box as me. And I'm going to run it through the mink. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you that I took the ballerina out of the folder. Now, it did not fully transfer the glitter. And you can work on that. You can, you can run it through multiple times to get this part where the black is filled in. And what I've noticed is that the glitter paper is really hard to work with. 
Um, I haven't had a lot of success with the glitter. Um, maybe it's just not hot enough. I don't know. But that's the result um, that I got. So I just wanted to show you that. I do have some die cuts that I'm also going to run through. So um, this die cut and this die cut, this was in my Anna Griffin um, pack. This paper isn't really thick. So um, that's another reason why I turned it down. But oh, look, her feet are there. Huh. So I'm going to put these in. And I'm also going to demonstrate the pen. Now, I have a piece of tilde paper here. And um, let me show you what I, I tested it earlier. See this tilde paper? I foiled it in pink. How did I do that? All I did was take the pattern and um, started drawing with the pen. And again, this is an Anna Griffin mink pen. You can get one from Heidi Swap. Um, I believe they have them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's now. And I think that's the one that I used. Let me see. Yeah. See, it comes with a, where the tip is white and you have to press it down for the ink to come out. So what I'm going to do is just um, write hello. And so that's in my handwriting. And so what's in here is the toner ink. That's what's in this pen. And um, I'm going to let that dry before I run it through. So let me go ahead and show you the foiled toner paper. This is going to be beautiful because I'm going to do it in two tones. So, ready? So, here we go. Here it is. You can see all those like little blemishes in there. I think if I run it through again, I don't know if that's going to help, but I could possibly do that. I'm not going to, um, to do that this time around. But um, you can see that it picked up that toner really well from the scrap that I had from your box and so now I can feel like okay I can throw this away right yep can throw that away so what I'm gonna do is actually um, I don't want this to be black because to me the black isn't you know I'm not crazy about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that come out in gold and we're gonna see how the two tones look now you can use whatever color you want I just happen to have the gold sheets out so I'm going to run it through with the gold on top of it and what it's going to do is anywhere you see this black lettering it's hard to see with the light here anywhere you see that black lettering it's going to get foiled in gold okay that's what's the um, the outcome is going to be so let's go through again and then this one's ready to go too. So um, I don't waste any of my foil. I'm gonna wait for that to come back out so I can use the, the end of it. And I'm actually just gonna cut this so we don't have to run the whole piece of paper through. So you know you can color in the pattern like you wanna highlight some of the leaves um, that are in this paper. You could do that just like I did with that scrap piece here. Um, and you can see the, that the foil picked up the leaves there where I colored. Um, so that's just kind of a little bit there. That quick. Okay, so this is that pink on gold or gold on pink. Oh my lord, that's crazy. So now we have this, there's no black. You see that? You see gold and you see pink. That is crazy. I could do with two different colors if I wanted to. I could do it, you know, any of the foil colors, but look at that. It's hard to show it on camera, but I think you can see that it's reflecting because this is, it's foiled now. So there you have it. And now I have another piece of paper that has the same pattern on it. You see what happened? Can never get rid of it. Um, See that? I have now another one, a duplicate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the edge off because there's a little band here. Um, you know, I can keep this other piece, but I want this right here because I'm going to run the hello through that I wrote down with the pen. 
And so I'm just going to cover, see, I'm just going to cover this one here. And I can run that through. And I need to cover those die cuts. I forgot about that. Hmm. Maybe we just want run die, one die cut through. Because you'll get the picture. It's not, you know, pocket science or anything like that. Okay. So the hello is covered. Let me take the, the heart out and we'll do the key because I think this is long enough for the key. Yep. Okay. So now we're doing die cuts and the toner pen. And here we go. You don't want to push it. You know, you don't want to push it if the... The rollers will grab it itself, so just push it in enough for the rollers to grab it and then let it let it do its thing. Um, here we go. And while that's going through, here's a um, sentiment that was glittered. This sentiment came from one of the Anna Griffin packs. It came from something like this, for instance. This is the Valentine one. So it's his favorite moments. So there's a whole bunch of die cuts in here that are already printed in um, toner. And I have yet another one of those. I couldn't find my um, foil scraps. I know I have a box, a pizza box actually with foil scraps. Okay, so it came through and I'm gonna pull it out so you can see. So here is the, this is the um, hello that I wrote down on the tilde paper. And so you can see, hello has been foiled with gold. This pen is awesome. Oh, they also have um, an ink, a bottle of ink as well. So you can paint it on with a brush. And I couldn't find it in my mess here. So sorry, I couldn't demo that. Um, and I have no idea where I put the bottle. It's somewhere around. But it's like a little bottle of ink. It looks like paint, a paint bottle. And they sell that as well. Um, I don't know. I got it again with my Anna Griffin, um, HSN order. Um, I'm not trying to promote HSN or Anna Griffin or anything like that. They just happen to have those products. So, and I don't think anybody else carries that. So here's the, um, key. Oh, that's finally beeping because it's gone down to, to setting three temperature. This is beautiful. Look at the key. This is the die cut. So... You can use this on a tag or some sort of project. This is one from Anna Griffin. So that I hopefully helps Esme um, with the um, the mink. If you have any questions, um, leave it down below, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.